It's time for the 2015 Tiki and Tierney NFL Training Camp Two-A-Days as we visit all 32 NFL camps to preview the upcoming season. Seattle Seahawks, 12 and 4, NFC Conference champions. Russell looks, throws inside. Oh my God, it's picked off at the goal line. It's picked off by God Butler. Intended for Lockett at the goal line. Oh my word, with 20 seconds left. The Seahawks were one play, one yard away from repeating as Super Bowl champions in one of the most controversial play calls in Super Bowl history. But quarterback Russell Wilson took the blame on himself. I had no doubt. I had no doubt in the play call. I still don't to this day. You know, I just wish we made the play. We've, we've made some phenomenal plays. I mean, you think about the Green Bay play at the end of the game in the fourth quarter or to our overtime you know uh, we made that phenomenal play and if we had made the touchdown you know you guys would be sitting here asking me different questions but we didn't you know and so that's what it comes down to after months of speculation about his future Wilson signed a monster extension and will even have a new target in Saints all pro tight end Jimmy Graham are the Seahawks still good enough to make a third straight Super Bowl appearance it's gonna be fun to watch Jimmy Graham making life easier for the quarterback also in theory making life Life easier for our next guest, wide receiver Jermaine Curse. Boys, fourth year already going into it. Hey, Jermaine, how are you, buddy? What's happening? How's it going? We are good. Appreciate you, by the way, sitting on hold for a while. Thanks for riding that out, man. Uh, no problem. Good. So, look at it this way. Two years ago, you bask and you revel in the championship, and it's a totally different feel from this offseason when you kind of lament what almost was with back to back Super Bowls. How different did it feel? Um, I mean, it really didn't feel any different. I mean, you know, obviously we wanted to come out with the win, but you just kind of have to keep pushing forward and just continue to just uh, get better in the off, uh, the off season and look forward to this, the upcoming season, the upcoming opportunities. Do you worry about uh, a hangover? Because that's what people always talk about when you go to a Super Bowl and lose is, is the, the down emotion that kind of lingers. And, and some people would say the preseason has kind of shown that for you guys. You worried about come, going into the season this year? Uh, we're just trying to get better. Um, you know, we're, we're just putting the work in, looking at the film, correcting mistakes, and, you know, just trying to – uh, get our football right, and I think that's what our main focus is. What is uh, what is your, uh, your your new tight end? What's he look like uh, so far? I know he's going to be asked to Does block, block? <laughs> exactly a lot more than he did when he was in New Orleans. But what does Jimmy Graham look like so far? Uh, he's looking really good. Um, you know, he, he's definitely getting comfortable in the offense and learning the, the schemes of the offense, and you know, just trying to improve. Uh, Every day, and you know that that's something that we admire about him. He 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 comes to work every day and works hard and puts in the effort. So that that's something that we we really like. It's over to Jermaine Curse. What out for Seattle? And of course, Seattle try to make it two Super Bowls in three years. And listen, you know this, and we've talked about it on the show. When you win, uh, guys want to get paid, and most time guys do get paid. Can't chance for a teammate still not there. He's looking to get paid and redo the contract as a player. And Tiki's been through this when he played, but as a player. How much do you? I mean, it's it's hard it's hard not to miss him. He's he's great, but how much do you talk about that amongst yourselves? How much do you pay attention? And do you expect him back for week one? Um, you know, it, it's a, a difficult situation for both parts. Um, I'm pretty, I'm sure the team has their reasons and Cam has his reasons. You know, right now, uh, for me, my my main focus is uh, you know just focusing on football and you know trying to do whatever we can. Uh, to just to get better and, and, and win games this season. I uh, got gotcha. uh, But uh, let's face it, it's September 1. It's no longer July 25 or July 28. I mean, you got your business to handle and he has his. But, I mean, we're starting to get the sense that he's serious about this threat not to show up and play in week one. Don't you feel that? Uh, you know, I don't really know too much of the whole situation. Um, you know, I, I, I try not to focus. That, you know, that's something out of my control. Obviously, Cam is a huge uh player for us he he has a, a huge impact on the field but you know it's a situation that's kind of out of my control so it's something that you know I I, I try to let um, them handle so I, I just try to focus on uh, on getting my football right and you know making sure the receivers in our room and you know that we, we got our thing going just to 
uh, get our, our offense going throughout the year and, and, you know, just try to ultimately just win games. Yeah, it's, that's what it ultimately comes down to. And you, the contract situation that did get solved was with Russell Wilson, your quarterback. And I think that everybody's happy because of that, because of the leader uh, he, he has become. But when you look around the rest of your division, it seems like everybody's been chasing you now for three years. Do you feel like they're getting closer? Or do you feel like you guys still have an edge? Uh, you know, um, you know, we're we're in a tough division. You know, we we got a lot of great teams in our division, and you know, it's just focusing on uh, the the task at hand, and just taking one step at a time. And uh, right now, you know, we're just trying to get better in this preseason. We're trying to, you know, fix, correct the mistakes that uh, that's been going on, and just continue to just try to improve. And that, and I think that's what's really important heading into this. Uh, upcoming regular season. What's it like being chased every Sunday? Because, you know, you go from, whether it's your team or other teams who have taken a similar road, you go from a competitive team to a really good team to a great team. And let's face it, everybody around the league knows about your team. I mean, there's really, there's no days off and there's no real respite, no real break. I mean, it, you're always being chased. What is it like? I'm, I'm sure it's kind of cool in one regard because it means that you've made it. But it's got to be tiring, and it's always these, these constant threats, and whether it's divisional or otherwise, no? Uh, you know, what I, what I think what makes this team so special is, uh, you know, I, I don't think this team feels like we're getting chased. I think this team feels like we're still doing the hunting. And, you know, I, I see it every day in the practice and the way these guys compete with each other uh, every day. And I, I feel like it's just the, the mentality of, of the still go hunting. You know, one of the things about your team, and really you, uh, you're from, you went to school at Washington, so it's, I mean, this is this is like your backyard for you, so you understand the, the 12th man and the the, the excitement that comes uh, from the Seattle Seahawks team, but you guys have always been able to make that play, whatever it is, whether it's a big catch that you had in, in the Super Bowls or, or in the playoffs before that, or uh, a Marshawn Lynch busting out for some big run when it was when it was really necessary. Where does that mentality or that uh, and I get execution ability come from? I was just making the most of each opportunity. You know, I, I think that's what it's really all about is just when that opportunity presents itself, uh, you know, you just try to make the most of it and just try to make plays for for the team. Uh, each guy on this team plays for one another and has each other's back. And, you know, we, we hold ourselves accountable for when those opportunities come just to, you know, make a play for the team. Jermaine, I'm looking at the schedule here um, at St. Louis week one, the Packers in week two, that's in Green Bay. No Jordy Nelson. I know that doesn't affect you, but just for the fans out there, um, Chicago in week three, a lot of primetime games. I'm seeing a lot of games Sunday night, late games, Mondays, and it, it's got to be fun to be on that primetime stage, but it's also disruptive to the work week. Do you feel that that's... I don't know, maybe a little bit of a disadvantage where it's a quick turnaround, even though you want to play in those games. It's it's probably harder than just playing a conventional schedule, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just about just taking it one day at a time. I, I think if you start looking ahead and stuff, that's when uh, um, distractions can show up. So I think it's just worrying, at, uh, worrying about the task at hand and just taking it one day at a time, and I think if we do that, I think we'll be all right. All right, well, one day at a time. Twelve days from now, you got the opener, as we said, at St. Louis. It's a 1 o'clock game, 1 Eastern on Fox. Jermaine Curse wide out for the souped-up Seahawks with a new tight end. Should be fun. Appreciate a couple of minutes, man. Thank you very much, Jermaine. All right, thank you. You got